Cheap radio you broadcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, being on method is a bad. Not having method is bad. Actually, we got the lie. Is, is we lie? About what? to. About to. Okay. Mm. It's got well over. Oh, no worries. Bad boy, fuck puff, still talking big shit. Hey. Detroit, bad boy. Made it out to murder, man. Niggas, you a fuck boy. That fuck shit, fuck you, your squad, everyone you roll with. Hey, what's going on with you? What's up, world? What's going on, K Radio audience? What's going on? The interweb. It's another Sunday, fun day edition of the Ron Kelly Show, aka the barbecue, aka Big Head Pete and them, aka the Breakfast Club Sandwiches. I'm your host, Ron Lemay, the God, man. Um, shit, man. Angela, she couldn't be here today. She's sick. Uh, Hollywood Trav, Passport Trav, a.k.a. D, uh, D, uh, what's my man named DJ Travi? He couldn't be here. He out passporting. You know, wasn't doing Hollywood things, man. But we got a special guest in house. What's up, though, Mel? What's hey. Not, I'm sorry. I know. I forgot, to, I, I forgot to shout out Mel. I forgot to shout out Mel. <laughs> you know what I'm That's cool. But the special guest, the special guest we got, we got comedian. Uh, my friend, my special friend, about to be your friend, Cliff DeMarco. What's happening, fam? What's going on, brother? Man, How you, you doing? doing? It's up to All you, man. Right, get cool, comfortable. cool. All right, we we acclimated. Yeah, okay, get acclimated. All right, man. So, what's up? You good? Oh yeah, man. How you been, man? Man, I'm good. I'm good. So, uh, before we get started, man, if people don't know us, uh, don't know you, uh, tell us a little bit about your comedy. How long you been doing comedy? Okay. Um, I started in 2016. Um, at a birthday party, and I and I opened up for uh Josh Adams. Oh, shit. oh okay, nice. okay, it, okay. It was crazy. It was a birthday party. This is like you know, this was seven years ago, so you know, I'm not saying he just was starting up, but you know, he's in his earlier stages, and I had never done a stand up before, and um. It was uh, it was kind of disastrous. Oh, okay, really? <laughs> okay, uh, okay. So would you say you bombed? Uh, yeah, except for one joke, and I was talking about my wife, and she was sitting right there, like, "Oh, you really ain't getting up for another three years." And uh, I'm like, <laughs> "All right, and that shit happens. That shit happens to the best of us." So listen, I'm there's a comedian. I'm not gonna say his name. He said he ain't never bombed before, but he bombed every day on Facebook. Book, so I think he, I, I think my man was lying. So you know, what I'm saying I normally, uh, I normally don't lead into it, but um, what is worse to you, comedian wise? Would you rather get booed or would you rather get the straight face? I would rather get the straight face because at, at some point when you're getting a straight face, at least they listening. They like, yeah, man, oh my god, you know this bull crap, this bullshit. Listen, to this fool. You know, opposed to just somebody like, man, you suck, man. Get the get the fuck off the stage. Beat it. You know. Except I had people boo, but that was because they were listening. They just didn't like the joke. I mean, well, that's kind of like a grunt, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a win. And there's more of a singular boo. So. All right. So all right. So so your first time out, you kind of bombed, except for. Yo, joke that you had stored in the chamber about your wife. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, so why didn't you quit? Um, I, I just, I, the reason why I didn't quit, um, is because I'm like, okay, man, I can, I can work at it. You know, anything you work at, you just keep being consistent at you. You start to get better at. So, like after 2016, it was like a two year hiatus. Not because I felt discouraged. It was just I didn't know where to go. Okay, okay. And um, 2018, I, I got on this show. It was open mic at uh, Bluefin and Warren. Uh, shout out to the comedian Keish. She put me on, and I've been running ever since, since 2018. All right, so since so 2018. So what? Uh, where did your comedy come from? Because um, I, seen, I seen you in a ski mask. You know, I just went. I, I, I didn't know if you was a Kia boy or whatnot, so I made sure my door was locked. I didn't know. Uh, so where did that come from? Um. My comedy stemmed from uh, just growing up, man, uh, imitate my parents, my my regular life. You know, I'm a married man. Uh, married man, huh? Oh, boy. Oh, uh, uh, shit. No it's shit, tough. It's tough. Oh, no shit, know? it's tough. Especially when you want to have an affair, man. Well, <laughs> you say when you want to have a, yeah. an affair. Okay, now that, you know what I'm saying? That's a new one. Like, I mean, you're brave. Is, is like she outside? Cause no, I, no, no. <laughs> She at home. She okay, because I don't condone this. I want her to know if she ever see me, you know, because everybody got to die in a situation like that. I just want to, I just, I, I just want it. her to know that I got kids, okay? <laughs> and, you know, so I don't want to do the dying thing. You, yeah, you know, you know, um, sneaking around ain't too good, especially when the prostitute don't want to take your money. Die, you know what? <laughs> this shit, that's called a day. Eight, okay. That is that is called a date and a damn relationship. She don't want to take your money. That means she like you. So um, oh, no. <laughs> that's what that means. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what it means. She like, oh, I got one. 
You know what I'm saying? That's what it means. She tell her pimp that I can quit. Okay, because she ain't gotta take yeah, the money. Oh, you, it's not a good thing. Oh, usually <laughs> she usually she say, uh, hey, well, well, it's, it's too little. I don't want to do it. It's like, wait a minute, I'm paying. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I would you know what that was just I would just have to reevaluate my whole lifestyle choices. Like, why am I doing this if it's too little? <laughs> so you know, so she don't want to take my money, like she's taking all types of miscellaneous dangalang, and she don't want to take this dangalang a change with my dang. I, I, I'd have been yeah, upset. you know, right. and I'm like, dang, you you know, your stuff about as big as this trunk, but you know, we we got <laughs> To argument, you know, she ran off. It was crazy. I so, tried to try to run her over. Oh, you know, sometimes you gotta hit a bitch. I feel that. So um just make sure you back up. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a doom doom, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go over and then back. You know, I you know, don't ask the question how I know, just yeah. <laughs> I see TVs. Uh so so how would so did your wife support your comedy? You know, is is it something that you know, is it like can you talk about whatever you want to? Yeah, um, I, I usually talk about whatever I want to. Um, like I said, it stems from, you know, my family life, uh, you know, my current life. Uh, and I also play with the logic of, you know, you, okay. give, you give me something and then, okay, now it's time to dive deep into it and get bone deep to it and, uh, you know, explore different possibilities. Like, you know, right now I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in this conundrum where... Conundrum? <laughs> Yes. That is a non-negrodio <laughs> word right there. I've but like that you know I've always liked that, but that is non-negrodio. I but know, man. I, I read. Okay, all right. It's, it's, it's nothing wrong with a learned Negro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead. We were in a conundrum. Yeah, yeah so I'm um, gonna spell it. No, I'm playing. <laughs> See, no shit. Yeah. Um, okay, so so I play with the logic of this, right? I, you know, everybody don't like the in-laws, right? Mm-hmm. And everybody hate them, but you got a reason as to why you like them. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I hate my sister in law, but the only reason I like her is because I want to do it to her. Mm -hmm. Right? Wait a minute. Oh, they make a good apple pie. Okay, but okay, okay, but go ahead, go ahead. Know, I, you want, I, oh your sister in law, God. you want to help your sister in law? I know. And, and I she, mean, does your wife knows about this? I mean, I said a joke about it, and she was like, "You say it again, I'm gonna kill you." Okay, you know? okay. Well, well, she's well listen. Not listening, it was no, nice not... meeting you, you know, because I got a lot of friends on here. You know what I mean? I, I hope your paperwork is good. Do you have children? Because they're gonna need to be taken care of. Yeah, man, I got, you know, I got, I got one son, man. He dumb. <laughs> okay, so you had a dumb baby too. Okay, yeah, I you had got, a dumb baby. Yeah, I got a dumb son. You got man. a dumb son. Okay, shout out, dumb son. Yeah. I, it's, I, it's, I, I love him to death. Man. It's not your fault to take after your daddy. Yeah, it happens. I had to go get him from uh he got in trouble with uh security at the mall, man. So he in the booth. I'm like, hey man. So he like, I didn't do nothing. I said, Well, well, why is your thing out? <laughs> and <laughs> okay. And he was like, Hey man, look, the place says strip mall. I thought I could come with the proper attire. Like, did you see anybody else that clothes off? They wasn't following the rules. I follow rules. And I was like, mm. oh my God. Yeah, you know what? Dumb. So you tell you know what? <laughs> I was wondering, it's, I was wondering who that young man was who was at the mall in Timberland boots and with motherfucking cuff links, and he had no sleeves on. He had on like he had on cuffs and cuff links and no sleeves. And I was like, what is this man doing? With some Timberland boots, trying to jit, trying to get in the that, 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 that was your boy. That was my horny son. Oh, your horny son. I, I, man, and them cougars was throwing motherfucking silver dollars at his ass. Hit. If he came, if he came home lumped up, that's because Betty got a good throw on her, and he was hitting. She was hitting him right here in the temple. You know, I I love him though. I, um, I love him to death, man. He talking about what you go get me when I graduate high school in the next couple of years. I said, uh, you know, according according to your intelligence, man, a pistol and a kilo of cocaine, man. Cause uh, you, you, ain't, you ain't got nothing going for you. I told my older son. At least you're supportive. I told my older son. He said, "What you gonna get me when I graduate, Daddy?" I said, "I'm gonna get you uh shit the fuck on. That's what you're gonna get. You gonna know, get the fuck on out of my house, big grown ass man. For real, sis. Ah, um, so um, okay, you've been doing comedy for like eight years. Um, seven. Seven years. Yes, seven sir. years. Um, your worst bomb. Do you remember that? Was that your first sign that you were talking about? Yeah, I was. Yeah. So, so, so you wouldn't consider the time. I, 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 I would be remiss. I'm a learning Negro too. You see, I, I use that word. Okay, I would be remiss if I didn't bring up the time that there was an altercation. altercation. Um, you know, I don't know if there were some jokes being told or some jokes to to be had, and then uh, fisticuffs and you know, and, and 
ensues. Oh my god! Oh yeah, we it's know, like we, it's like talk, about bone deep. So we get bone yeah, deep here on the it's Ron like Kelly talking show. To, uh, what's that guy? Nardwar, man. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You didn't know I knew that. You didn't know I knew that. Yeah, yeah. I heard, I heard there was fisticuffs. Let's get into. I didn't know he was the one in that. This is the guy. This is the guy. You know what? Listen, listen, listen. I might listen. Don't make me go fucking menace to society and put the tape in the VCR. No, that's the no. Maybe put the tape in the VCR. So listen, man. Um, tell us. That's crazy. If Hollywood Trav was here, we'll put it up. Oh, said, but Passport Trav ain't here. So listen. Tell, tell me about the fight, man. Tell me about the fight. Okay. All right, so it started off like this. It was a comedian that went up before me, uh, a, a Caucasian gentleman. A, a Caucasian. No, Why'd you look at me when you be, said no, that? No, no, <laughs> because it's safe here. She, a Caucasian. She, I, listen, it's okay. She's a white girl, but she. It was, I brought her to the cookout, okay? She just, she's fine. She's I, cool. I understand. No, I was just trying to give, like, even eye okay, contact. I'm fine. trying to get everybody. That's fine. You're but good. No. You're good. <laughs> but no, um, so it was one night. It was... uh. It was an open mic, so this comedian named Steve Cass went up uh, uh, before me, and he was talking about um, Kid Rock, and I didn't know Kid Rock upsets white people, like you know what I'm saying, like it incites riots, like like Kid Rock, he's like you fucking talk about Kid <laughs> Rock, son of a bitch, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, so I go up next, so you know I'm trying to defuse the situation. I'm like, um. I'm like, yeah, man. Uh, f- fuck Kid Rock, man. I said I I used to be uh, a security guard for him, and uh, I let somebody kick his ass because I don't defend white supremacy. And so I'm thinking like, all right, cool. I'm like, same with Eminem. I was like, you know, what do oh, I no, look? No, don't. No. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, but I'm like, I'm like the same with. I said the same with Eminem. I said, think about it. I'm more than likely another black person to be trying to fight Eminem, and I don't want to fight another black person. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be Uncle Tom. Like, you defending him? You know? So, I thought that would bring the laughs. And this guy was like, yeah! And he was he was on a date with this girl. They kissed. And, and then he called you a nigger, right? Oh, I'm going to get to that. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so, so <laughs> he was like, yeah, yeah well, you're, you're not fucking funny and you're, and you're short. And I'm like, alright, okay. <laughs> not funny and you're short. I said, okay. Um, I said, let me guess. You're going to go to work tomorrow. You're going to say you stood up to one of us. You know, <laughs> you've had it. You stood up to one of us and you made them back down. I said, this is the highlight. I, right now, I'm the highlight of your week. And so he was like, and I was like, you know what? So I got into this character called Brother Don't Fuck Around. Okay. And Brother Don't Fuck Around is a very militant. Um, Good Brother Don't Fuck Around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and he's nice. He's he's nice to white people. This is how I greet white people. Good morning, you blue-eyed white devil. You know, <laughs> because he's nice. Okay. And so, so That's you know, aggressive. I put on the sunglasses. I'm like, sit your ass down, blue eyed white. Sit your white ass. Down. You know, just I'm just talking trash yes. to him, right? Uh-huh. But anybody, anytime I go back and forth with a heckler, I always shake hands with him. Good game, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just the the mm-hmm. the love I have for the art, and you know what I'm saying? I love I have for people. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what it was, just out of nowhere, like he felt something building up, and like out of nowhere. The Super Mario star mm. came out of the air. Mm. <laughs> and when it touched his hand, he was like, you hurt me. And I don't know what it is about when white people get electrocuted with racism. He's like, Nigga! you know, and I'm like, he, po- he went by the power of Gray Skull. Yeah. And when, you know what I'm saying? When he man, he went total he man on you. So I'm like, Oh, so it was another mm. comedian. He, he's a big fella, about six five, uh, about three hundred pounds. Man, he was with this. He was with this lady, right? So you know, he's a little sidebar. Like you know, the short mm-hmm. short word for bicycle is what? Uh huh. <laughs> bike. Right. Oh, okay. Short word for bicycle is. Oh, dyke. I, I, you said it. I did. I get. I get it. I, I see the way he put, smart man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So so it was him and his bicycle, right? He's like, what did you say? What did you say? And before you know it, they got to kicking his ass. You know what I'm saying? And I'm on stage like, oh, no. And they just, he like, ah, ah, and they like, and so he tried to say it again. But, you know, you're like super saying he was like, and he couldn't get it out. And so they were beating him up. You motherfucker, you son of a bitch. So I'm like, hey, man, uh, 
I thought we were supposed to agree to disagree, you know. Yeah. So I'm calm during the whole situation. So I try to get off stage to break it up because they they is tearing the house down. First of all, I didn't know it was this many black people in this establishment. You that, never that. do until some shit somebody threw the hat Man, up. Listen, I assume you know? I'm the only white person usually. Listen, somebody at that at that bar? No, no, at some at like which bar? I forget the name of it, but it was the one that you would think would be a gay bar because it's in the gay community, but it's not a gay bar. New Way. New Way. Yes, yeah. it was that New Way. New Shout way. out to Paul Pippitone. Paul Pippitone. That's my guy. The Italian. Me. So, <laughs> so it was so many black people in there. I didn't even know. Like, it was black people coming out the TV, yeah. black people coming out the wall. It was yeah. a white guy next to him. He turned black. That's happened. And yeah. I'm like, yeah. whoa. And yeah. it was just like, nigga, 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 yeah. nigga, nigga, nigga. I'm like, oh. And then, like, they, they started, you know, tearing the roof off with him. And so I tried to speak to him outside. Like, look, brother, I know you're inebriated. I'm not even offended by what you said. Other people don't take that lightly. As I'm saying that, they start kicking his ass again. Wow. And you know. so and so I'm like, so so the, then the, the, the dice will start asking the girl, like, you, 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 you with him? You with him? She's like, no, that's my friend. Like, they was just kissing. You know, that was a oh, terrible so she first was, Yeah, but she's like, I don't want my ass beat too. No. Yeah. Okay. I, I feel that. I feel that. You know what? That's that's like justified. I feel like if you, well, not you, but if, if a Caucasian uh, gentleman or gentle lady, you know, wants to come out here and just hard R, you know, it's a hard R situation, you know, <sighs> fist of cups must ensue. Exactly. You know, it happens. It happens. So uh, is that the only time you ever had a fight at a comedy show or n no, there's been more? There's more. See, so, <laughs> so I've been performing. What do you do? Maybe this ain't for you. Maybe, yeah, I, something's I, happening. I've been performing at, at New Way for four years, and every year you fight, something happens. Like I don't, I don't actually be fighting people. It's just people get upset. Uh, like you know, the first time I got to it with a guy look like Doug Dynasty, and he just, uh, I, you know what? Yeah, I can see. And I, and I stayed in character. His brother don't fuck around. I told him I was gonna follow him up the alley and hit him in the head with a lead pipe. But you know, it was a joke. Some no, he didn't know like that. that. And yeah. he was like, he's like, he's like this. So, so this guy just fucking threatened me. Yeah, I did it for four weeks before this. The fifth week. You threatened him for four weeks? No, no, not him. Not oh, him. Okay. How but many no, PPOs do you have? Yeah, about seventeen, <laughs> probably. You know what I'm saying? Just like, hey, man, look, it, it, it's to the point now where Paul don't even defend it. He's just like, hey, I'm like, look, man. He called me in where he was. He, well, why'd you make him do it this time? Jesus, you know, <laughs> we, we've defended you enough. Now, enough's enough. <laughs> so, okay, so, okay, so we're talking about New Way for the people that don't know, people that's listening. Um, New Way is is one of the establishments that is, uh, what what do we call that? A long-standing spot in the comedy community, but it's very, very fucking different. 117 comedians from all walks of life, from <laughs> all, for, I'm no, and when I mean 117, I'm serious. 117 comedians will be on the list and nine times out of 10, most of them, if not all of them get on. And I'll be there next Monday. And you'll be there next Monday. You will yes. be a hundred and, you know, you know, try to get on like 30 or something. No, it's, it's a part of the comedy class. So we get up first. Oh, you get up first. Yeah, okay. That's so the only way to go. 65 is a light day. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. So as a comic, cause you're not a showrunner, um, as, as, as a comic, how was that environment? with 65 comics or a hundred comics in one Monday. Cause I went, I went years ago. I, I, I haven't gone in years, um, but it was different for me. Cause it's, it's almost like if you don't, it's almost like, okay. I look at comedy like sex. So the new way is like, it's like sex, but you pull your dick out. If it's not 12 inches, then it's it. You know what I'm saying? That's done. Like, like everyone gets like 60 seconds. Everyone gets like 30. No, for real, you get like two and a half minutes. Really? And if you don't make some person laugh in the first 16 seconds. To like push you off. It, it, it's the worst, man. It's the longest 30 seconds of my life. It's like it's 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 like you think you giving her good dick and then and then you find out she's looking at her phone popping her gum. Right. You know what I mean? That's what it's like when you know what I'm saying for the 30 seconds you up there at three, you know what I'm saying? Like how do you how do you do that? Like do how do you handle that? You know what I'm saying? The new uh, way environment. I, I think I handle it very well because um actually due to uh the four years of uh mishaps. I always end up going last. So, so, you know, it's like 130, 145. No one yeah, so I'm usually like talking to the blind guy and the guy shooting pool. He's like, yeah, man, you're funny, man. Mm -hmm. I, 
I'm gonna tell my wife about that if I ever had one. Yeah, it passes out. But no, um, I, I, you know, I, I'm cool with everybody in the Bayou, man. I speak to everybody. You know, it's just it's a cool atmosphere. It's just like going to school almost. It's just like being at school. Like you, you know how you you hate your parents. You just want to get away. You know, I hate you know I hate my house. And I just you know I just go and I'm like, oh man, this is great. This is you know. This is shitty, but this is great. I like it. Okay, you know? so is New Way your home cl uh, club? Because I know a lot of comedians uh, have a club that they prefer or they home little bar. Is that your home spot that you do? Or? Um, it it is. Or what would you consider your home spot? My home spot is um, uh, right now is 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 under uh, construction. Under construction. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Trixie's Trixie's, Trixie's bar. Trixie's is that the Trixie's and Hamtramck? In the ham? In the in the in the ham of Tramics. The ham it was Trixie's the and, one. Is that the one that was recently boycotted? <laughs> That's the one that was recently I mean boycotted. it wasn't my fault. It Thank God. Like, no, see, you know, this and you, you know, had nothing to do with it. No, no, I mean not I didn't thing. look, I'm on the outside looking in, and Tracy's was a dope little spot until I seen some Karen um and did some Facebook Karen in yeah. and was like, if you support if you like if you support Pork Trixie's or this and that, <laughs> then then you might as well then you might as well slip her to pill yourself because this establishment supports rapers and rapists and killers and and villains and if you go here to enjoy laughter, you two are a dupe or uh, a fucking no good Nick yeah. and you know uh, a fucking uh, evil doer. You are a part of the axis of evil. That I is what I don't want to be part of the legion of evil. Yeah, you know. Uh, you know no, like for real. So, so okay. So, Trixie's was your home spot. Trixie's and um the Independent Comedy Club. Too. Independent. Oh, yeah. the Independent. Yeah. Listen, I went to the Independent one good time. That's why I met um, you. That's why. I, yeah. What? Yeah. I had, no, I went two. Was that your first time? I've never. I don't know. I did meet you. The first, I did meet you there. Yeah. Uh, I went. Was uh was Ham Tramming Jesus outside that night? I think so. Okay, that was the first my ham tramming Jesus was and out what, there. What was crazy? I was surprised that you knew who I was. He was like, "Hey, man, ain't you Cliff DeMarco?" And I'm like, "Oh my god, do I owe this brother some money?" No, <laughs> no, because you funny. Because you funny. Like, like, okay, like, okay. In this Detroit comedy community, sometimes I fuck around. I be a fan of people's uh, like reputations. Like, I hear they funny, and I'm like, "Oh, oh, okay, they seem like good people." And then you know, I heard your name come up. And in like some circles, and I was like, okay, oh, let me uh, let me Facebook friend him, and then I'm like, okay, oh, I, I like his insight. This motherfucker funny. Uh, okay, I like him. Thank All right, you. cool, Thank cool. You. Thank you. And then um, I meet you personally. I'm like, okay, he, he seemed like a real humble dude. He seemed cool. So I'm like, you know what? Invite him to the show. And then like you hear, I'm like, son of a bitch, you got the trifecta. You cool, uh, you know what I'm saying? Your name is spoken highly of. Uh, you're a cool Facebook person, and and I meet you in real life, and you're down to earth. You, you're cool. Yeah, man, you're cool. You're yeah, cool. man, I can't be arrogant like these. I'm not saying other comedians are air, air, arrogant, but some are Arabic. But anyway. No. Oh, but no. man. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, some are arrogant, and I've seen them like, you know, and I'm like, well, hey, brother. So, you know, so before the Trixie's downfall, okay, before the downfall of Trixie's, um, how did you what did you like about it because you know what i'm saying because like when i went in i was like oh shit it has it has friends in the corner it was, you know, it was like i'll be there for you vibe over here <laughs> and then it had a nigga barbecuing in a barrel up in the corner i said this nigga, how is this, how how is it living single and friends in the all same the, spot all, the all on the all on the same channel if you think about it they it both, both took place in new york though they did but, it, yeah. but you didn't see it. i mean they, of course, they was on two different spectrums of the city, yeah. you know. So, all right. So, um, so before the Tracy's downfall, uh, so how how do you feel that Facebook is affecting the comedy community, man, or or you know, saying your local comedy community? Do you feel like you know some people are using Facebook to put wind up under their skirts and wings to gas them up to get a reputation? I can you know, I can believe what? that. You know, I mean, I guess anything to get some type of notoriety. You know, mm. I mean, as long as you're not doing porn. I but, um, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I don't find nothing wrong with it. I, I mean, I try not to use Facebook. Like, you know, like certain things, like I put reels and stuff on there. That's mm -hmm. cool. You know, all right, cool. You know me. But I'm not trying to use my power to stop nothing, you know. And, mm -hmm. and, and I'm so dedicated. And I love the art too much to even do something that's silly, you know. Okay. And that's no offense, no shot to no one. No, 
Nah, go ahead. Go. Um, Look, <laughs> hey, hey, you. You know what I'm saying? I, I know what you did, okay? I'm, I said I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't um, do that, but uh, like, like the whole thing with Trixie's. I mean, you know, it's it's up to you. If you want to support it, you don't. Have you seen the crowd after? After the great downfall. Oh yeah, man. Oh, wow. a lot less. Yeah, I ended up getting on stage and doing like 20 minutes. Man. And I'm like, damn. Only man. person the bartender, like, yeah. Uh that's uh -huh. all I got. You know what? It is what it is. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't get the laugh. I just got yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Foot fetish, that's weird. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but um, <laughs> Um, overall, I mean, that's, that's a good space. I liked it. Um, that, that's where I told the story about the guy calling me the N word the next day mm -hmm. and everybody was in there and I got a chance to really get it off. Like I wanted to. So, you know, you had your highs and lows there. Um, same with, um, independent, you know, just mm. highs and lows, you know, um, but me personally, I, you know, are you saying the N word as a Nancy or nigger? Cause I'm, I'm like confusing. I'm, I'm like, nigger. confused. Nigger. <laughs> okay. Okay. No. Yeah. Um. Well, you know, we can. Yeah. But no. Uh, it's okay. We can say it here. Mel just I, can't I, say yeah, it. Yeah, I, know, I was like, we would. can say it. She. Can, I mean, she can't say it. Uh, you know. no, okay. True. So my whole thing about that is telling white people they can't say it. Can they write it down? It depends I mean, on the context. Okay, you know what? Wait a minute. Hold on. That's a good question because, like, if they say it, you might get an ass with them. But if they write it. You like you, you can't so like I, I could I, write down what you guys just said. Yeah, but, but I couldn't use it. You know, in a different I got this thing. White white people can only say it during sex with black people that allow it. You know, so that allow it. Oh man, it's only it's only allowed during race play. Okay, you okay. Know what I'm saying like you, you know, saying you, give me that have, nigger cock. You what? have race play. Race play. <laughs> that, that's what it's called. It's, I, it's called race play. Y'all didn't know that was the name of it. No. no. Okay. Don't ask me how I know. Okay, but that's the name of it, and it's the whole. I mean, it's yeah. not hard to figure out, but people didn't know that there was a name for it. People call it dirty talk with the N word. I'm like, what? Well, I, oh. don't know. I don't use it at all. I, I mean, you know. All this time I wanted to play the field hands in the slave yeah, master's yeah, wife. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now I know what to yes, say now without yes. saying Do that. Do you long. like race play? And it's not like running in a race. You know what I'm that's like race play. She starts stretching like, no, oh. no, no. no. Race place. Oh, I'm sorry. Go get a German Shepherd and a stick. Like, you know, a German Shepherd. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what? There's probably videos like that. You know what I'm saying? Can't say the N word, but you can call me a field slave. <laughs> <laughs> Big that God boy. Like, you know, it's funny that we is on this topic. Um, but yeah, you know, certain words aren't really slurs, but depending on who says it, and then the combination. Yeah. Like if you okay, the word paint. Paint. Paint and the word mud. Two separate words. Right. Don't really sound like a slur. Right. But if someone says, hey, mud paint. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said that to me and I was like, you know what? I can't even get mad at this creativity. Kind of creative. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because just fucking say uh, nigga or the hard R really doesn't cut it anymore. You got to be creative with your racism. I, I, that that I, sounds funny. Like, hey. I can't get mad at that. Like, you know, uh, my, my, the Midnight huh. Ranger, like, what you call me? <laughs> you call me the... You fucking midnight range. I'm like, is that a Marvel character? Like, Sorry, what is cool. it? I, I it does sound that. cool. I want to be the midnight ranger when I grow up. Like, I never, I've never you probably meant to say like midnight raider as if like, people rock. I, I mean, <laughs> midnight raider sounds cool too. That sounds like a bunch of niggas coming up with NWA jackets or a porn title. Yeah, exactly. Like, midnight raider. Midnight you know what? Raider. I bet if we Google that, it's gonna be a nigga with your know, says his, his fucking. That's dick. a gangbang video for that, sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That is. That is. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> my, At least five. My, th my thing. I know they changed this in the NFL. Um, to uh, you know, the, the Washington Commanders. Right? Uh huh. I've never heard a white person say those fucking Redskins. I've never heard that. No, nope, that's a video game. Yeah, that's it's not a as video exciting game. as I hoped. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you know what. Sega CD. Uh, and that's long that's time ago. Well that's well over old. thirty years ago. Oh, motherfucker. So, um, so Cliff, uh, do you travel with your comedy? Have you been out of state, or do you just stay around here? Or uh, you know? I've been out of state one time last year. Or where was that? Where'd you go? And how uh, was it? I went down to Atlanta. Ah. Um, it was a it was a convention. It was called the Comics Rock Convention. Okay. And okay. I was able to perform 
I wasn't able to perform at the theaters and uh they they, they screwed me out of that you know there's no slight to them but anyway I got to this bar in Stone Mountain and uh it was a lot of black people you know and I started off you know with, with my greeting like you know you know hey anybody shit in the shower and they was like what 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 the f yeah what <laughs> you know what I'm saying like and anybody like, shit in the shower cliff uh cliff tell, tell me you're not one of them no no what it is that's a greeting you know like, is it a greeting like yeah like uh, hold on uh, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute now this is my, now this is my uh this is my white friend okay and um yeah, and yeah <laughs> and it's like that sounds like that would be a white greeting so I'm just no, gonna ask. No, it doesn't. I mean, if it was to be an actual greeting, then it <laughs> would be. No, you, you no, can't. but no, no. Okay, okay. It doesn't sound like it, it would be a white greeting, but it sounds like Maybe if it was someone from the 1930s, I could see an old man saying that. I don't know. I, <laughs> an old man? Did you shit yourself? But no. What? Okay. Like you know. I don't you think know that's how greeting, you, you know how you ask and you know. I mean, I heard of how you doing, but have you shit yourself, I, Cliff? I don't think that's it. I sir. mean, that's that's better than hey, hey, how you feel? Fuck you. You know, just like, hey, anybody should have shot? No, I don't. No, okay. All right, cool. You don't. I mean, right. you can even ask that okay, question okay, on the okay, date. Okay, so what came after that? Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How did you, I, I mean, is it a rebound after, hey, how you shit in the shower? What did it do? Well, I know you have their attention. I you know, know that. and they're like, what? And I'm like, okay, uh, I guess I'm the only one. Um, so you are one of those shit in the shower folks. You're black. I don't, you don't really do it. No. Okay, you're a shock comedian. Okay. <laughs> Okay, because, because no, cause, no, because no, because my thing is like in the days of cameras and being recorded, you know what I'm saying? If you said it, you did it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Okay, so you a shower shitter? I mean, I don't care if that's thought about me, but I mean, for the for the sake of for the sake of comedy, yeah, for the sake of comedy, I'm you a, a yeah, shower, a shitter. shower shitter, a, shitter a in proud the shower. shower shitter. You know what? And you, you know what? For the sake of the jokes, you know what? That, you are a real artist. You know what? That that is someone that is true. Because listen, it comes a point in any movie where I'm gonna have to say, you know what? I that's not my line. Can we get the stunt joke in here? Can we get the stunt? Yeah, because some yeah, some yeah. people draw the line like, uh, uh, hell no, I ain't saying yeah. that. Like, um, you know, I, I I I tell certain jokes. Like I said, I play with the logic of, mm -hmm. you know. So you know, I was telling a joke about me having a mistress, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm like, yeah, she died, and you know, it was hard to. You know, grieve about it. You know, well, my girlfriend died. I, and it was hard to grieve about because my wife was sitting right there. Ah, so you know, yeah. I broke down, had the ugly cry. And I'm like, <laughs> she's like, "What's wrong with you?" Now I gotta make up some, you know, Chandler and Ross. <laughs> Not Chandler and Ross, <laughs> because she used to swallow. You I know. <laughs> I, oh, okay. And, okay. And so mm -hmm. you know, and like I said, playing with the logic of, and I'm like, yeah, um. Yeah, my, my my other mistress, uh, she's she's on dialysis. And um, you know, I didn't know until you know we were laying down, I lifted up her nightgown, and um I'm like, what is this? She's like, I'm on dialysis. I said, You told me you were getting a surgery, and she was like, Yeah, I am. I said, So why do you still have a penis? And <laughs> Duh. <laughs> No, wait so a minute! So wait, just wait! Up people's heads. Yeah, because you talk. I'm, I'm thinking dialysis awesome. port and shit, and you yeah. talking about why you still got a penis, sir? Why? Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. know, nine, yeah. nine years of this is enough. You know? Nine <laughs> years, nine years of nine inches. You finally got. You finally. You finally had enough. I've had. It. Uh, okay, for the sake of comedy, you want you know when you you true to this, you're not new to this. <laughs> true to this. <laughs> Okay. That's so dumb. That, man, listen. Uh, that man, is so shit. dumb. Well, well, shit, well, uh, all right. Well, shoot. We normally go left around three o'clock. It's a little early now. It's about two thirty. We done went. We done jumped the shark early. I like that. Oh, I like that. So, um, all right. So, so, so comedy. Um, do you do crowd work? How you feel about crowd work? Is oh yeah, yeah. I do. I do crowd work. That's how I started. Like, you know, uh, I couldn't rem like the first time, like I said, when I opened up for Josh Adams, I was drunk. Ah. Uh, my yeah, my uh, my, my, my homeboy, he was he was a bartender. He was the bartender at the party and he's a real bartender, but he made the drinks extra strong. So now I'm popping back and forth with a heckler, but I'm still trying to remember my material. And I remember my wife like. Uh, do you know what you? I ain't seen you write down shit all week. Do you know? And I'm like, <laughs> <it's up> here. <laughs> I got it in my 
head. And I got <laughs> drunk and You're everything right. went out the <laughs> I window. I ain't seen you right on shit all week. Oh man, she's she's like your uh she's like your uh motherfucking trainer, like a boxer. Yeah. Oh, you know said she should have threw the towel in that night. She should have threw the towel. And she was, and then you know, I'm I'm not running out of jokes, but I just couldn't remember my material, so I started seeing people. I seen this guy come in with a ball head, and I'm like, Chauncey, book 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 Phillips. And he was like, and then he started getting on me because I didn't have a haircut, so I had a hat on. He was like, "What the fuck you doing with a skull cap and a hat on, you ugly motherfucker?" Oh and damn, I, damn! Uh, you got to reevaluate, man. If you get out heckled by a bald head dude just walking in, a drunk bald head, dude, drunk bar, yeah, you got to reevaluate. And he was crazy. talking, about, and people was like, "Dwayne, you crazy? I was not like, Dwayne, you crazy? Funny. <laughs> How you walk in cheers and trying to tell jokes?" And they like, "Norm, you know, the Norm got you." Yeah, he was he was definitely a family favorite. And, did you um, watch all these shows, Rob? Do you, do I, you're do a I, Friends and a Cheers fan. I just started yes, watching Cheers. I watch Cheers is fucking hilarious. It is. You'd be surprised at all the white shows as funny as shit. Uh, Frasier. Frasier. I grew Fra up watching. You grew Frasier. up on Frasier, so yeah. you were okay. So we down with the white shows. Yeah. Okay. Bet. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Listen, Melanie, you'd be surprised that just because black people don't go to the white communities that we don't watch shows about people who live in those said communities. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, like love everybody that. loves Raymond is, is one of the funniest oh, shits I ever. I can't stand that show. You can't stand I that show. The mother know. is funny. It's, no, yeah. I don't like it. Like that old lady would have got some dick just off of personality. Uh, <laughs> oh, she's not cute, but somebody like grandmama would have got it. You don't like what was her name? Uh, yeah, Seinfeld was like, What is up with that? I didn't get Seinfeld. I love no, Seinfeld. No, it's like everyday shit. I don't need to see a show on it. I mean, oh, well, it was cool. You know what? It, I had, I don't know. I uh, kind of felt like everyone, uh, okay, I felt like Seinfeld is for the closeted racist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel I like Seinfeld is I can see. Yeah, it's for the closeted races because it don't look like nobody on that show fucks with us. Not near not a one of them, no. not even a white woman. And you are it's always a white woman. They always got that look. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it wasn't not one white woman on that show, whoever crossed that one they look with that show that had that look that they were Negro friendly. Marie Baron. Who's Marie Baron? Talking about uh everybody uh, everybody love, love Brandon. Good. Yeah. What Oh, talk about the, oh talk about oh, penises okay that's my uh, talk about the penises you would want to talk about some dick talk about the penises all right so penis that, penis cock 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 is is that what we're doing now that, that's my i'm not that was that, one that, of my, my heckle phrases you like heckle when, phrases? I, when i would see one of my friends on stage i'm like talk about the penises and then talk like what the, the fuck? you know you have a lot of white friends don't you um not really. You know what? I grew up in the hood, man. No, you didn't. I'm for real. I'm Shut from, up. I'm from Joy Road and Evergreen. Shut you Joy Road. Joy Road, Dixon Don. Oh, okay. Shit. For, 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 you but, can get but, shot but, in your hood. But but yeah, but okay. I, but I, I, you know what I'm saying. I, I mingle with everything. Using a word yeah. like conundrum, I would have never, I would have never guessed this. <laughs> I would have never guessed this. Um, uh, yeah. So talk about the penises is one of my heckle phrases to, to people, and um, it was a it was a title on Stephanie Ann's show, um. Uh, uh sanctioned by, sanction Stephanie. by Stephanie. And if you haven't first... heard that, go uh check that out wherever you can hear your podcast. I was on the first season and this title talk about the penises. That's how much because like people were saying like, talk about the penises. They're like, what talk the about fuck? the penises? <laughs> I had some crazy ass shit to talk about the penis. Okay, so I'm you starting to understand why fights break out at your shows, though. <sighs> yeah, I mean I could kind of see that, but I mean I'm just <laughs> listen, I thought it was just one, but when you say no, it, it was for. I mean, this happened to me before. It was like, so you, know you said, my mama tried to fight me once, like you know, I'm, <laughs> I was I was like five, and I'm telling you know at the time my great grandmother was alive, and I'm like, yeah, uh, you know, sometimes uh, I hear my mama and dad on the water bed going, <sighs> and you know, my mom she looking embarrassed, and you know, she waited till I got home. You know, eighteen came on. What about two thirty? And you know, right after eighteen went off, and Wolf was coming yeah. on the helicopter show. She was just like, ugh, ugh. you want to tell people that I be doing stuff? And I didn't know what that meant. I just thought they was in there just breathing. I didn't know. Yeah, that. I mean, so you probably get uh, fucking traumatized every time you hear like a tire pump up or something. You think of your parents fucking just. Or the, or the A-Team theme song. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, man. I ain't getting on no plane, fool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nigga, you, you like having to be a Baracket. 
Nigga, that that that's who y'all. That that's who you is. That's who you is. That that's better than shower shitter. It, it is better. Yeah, because I didn't want you to be the shower shit. <laughs> no, I don't want to be. I didn't want. No, I'm saying because everybody get remembered for something, and I, I was hoping it wasn't gonna be the penises or or like the shower shit. Yeah, I was um. Overall, I'm an underrated comedian. Um, I'm kind of like low key. Like can, people, people can know you say, me. Can, can you call yourself I, I underrated? You, yeah. I don't think that's how that works. I think other people have to call you. Underrated. Oh, okay, okay. Because like, yeah. you're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, like, yeah. that's like a right. humble brag you just did there, sir. That's like a very confident humble brag. Like, like I, really? He didn't say I'm really yeah. awesome. Like, but... like you just said, you know, I'm better than a lot of people that think you know what I'm saying that ain't, ain't never heard of me. You should have if you haven't. Oh you no, know what I'm no. Saying? <laughs> have you have you not heard of me? Because you know I'm probably un underrated, so you haven't heard of me. Have I but told yeah. you how humble I am? Yeah, because I'm humble as shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm I am funny. I'm more, more funny. Than that I am humble, but I'm really humble. Like, yeah, you suck. I'm funny. Yeah. Uh, Let's do it. No, no, no. We just, we just have fun here. We just have fun here. All right, all right. So, uh, you uh, underrated comedian? Boom, boom, boom. I don't know where you're going with that. I, uh, I probably yeah. took you there. Uh, yeah, I'm just um, I'm a, I'm a damn near say overlook. But no, oh, uh, okay, okay, boom. I'm the boom. Let's just say, it. let's just say it. So, boom, you feel like that because you see people getting booked who ain't as funny as you. Is that what you're saying? Is that yes! what you're saying? I'm about to no. be Stephen A. Smith. So, what you're saying is, which is preposterous, you know, it is the downright travesty that you have all these comedians getting booked and you're not sorry. Ridiculous. Is that, is that what you're saying? Ridiculous. In my Stephen A. voice. <laughs> See, I'm starting to get upset over here too. You are, okay, so there, there, let's just talk about oh, it. Let's just talk about it. Like, no, oh, no, nah, listen, we we don't gotta we don't gotta point the finger. We ain't gotta point the finger. You know what I'm saying? Because listen, this is this is what I learned. Don't look at that number up there because people be watching without you know what I'm saying, pressing it because they don't want to be the, you know the number one. They don't want to say, Nah, because right, everybody want to be this shit. Yeah. So how? Okay, we are comedians. Um, I've been doing this. I don't know. It's Eight years. I just I don't pick know. a year and stay there. Yeah. Um. How do y'all <laughs> handle? I'm gonna ask both. Of, I'm gonna interview both of y'all. Fuck that. I can do that. Right. You know what I'm saying. How do y'all handle being overlooked? You know what I'm saying. Like, like shows that you know. You know what I'm saying. You could do or were available for, and you just know you were overlooked. How do you handle that? Um. Well, how I handle it, I just keep. Uh, I keep grinding. I keep writing, and I just keep trying to make my uh my best better. You know, if that that makes sense. That makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. That's a that's a very very uh, politically correct answer. Yeah. Um. You know, I don't. I don't. You know, I don't sit and talk about it like, oh fuck those guys. I'm way funny, man. I, I bet you if I kill them, they won't be booked. You know. No, oh no, I, shit. No, I'm not like that. That's extreme, but yeah. You <laughs> know, social media. I just look at it like, um, maybe I haven't rubbed into the right elbows or got into certain doors just yet. It's just not my turn just yet. That's you know, so <laughs> Cliff said, wait, wait, Stephanie said you had to defend that he's black. Did I put you in that position where you had to defend that you were a Negro? That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god. Okay, that's just funny. I'm just reading the comments. Steph Stephanie is that's crazy. wild. That's She's wild. Crazy. So oh. so Mel, how do you yeah, see, it's a different story for, I just don't try that hard, so I know why I don't get booked because I don't ask. Fair enough, fair enough. But I'm gonna start trying here soon. If you about to start trying. Yeah, I, I'm gonna see be, what happens. I'm being completely honest, man. When I don't get booked, I'd be like, why the fuck didn't I get booked? And I and I just want to be like, okay, am I not as funny as these people? I look at the people and I and like I see where I rank amongst those people. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. and then I just be like, okay, uh, you know what? Okay, maybe I, you know what I'm saying, it's something in me that I'm not quite there yet. And nine times out of ten, it's either I'm not friends with the friend group. You know what I'm saying? Or those people be better than me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm not even going, you know what I'm saying? Like, a whole lot of people like to say, you know what I'm saying, I didn't get booked because uh, I have a vagina. There's a lot of people that feel that way. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not saying sexism doesn't exist, but sexism is not the reason why a lot of y'all not getting booked. Maybe oh. maybe y'all just not funny. I'm not saying you. No, I'm just saying, sometimes but, yeah. shows are actually requiring certain genders in the show. Like if you have an all female show, which is oh, more common yeah. to be an event, but yeah. sometimes it's who they're trying to cater towards. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, I, I don't know. I just, I just feel like people got to get rejected to get better. Because like what I'm noticing when I, I look at the circle of people that are always getting booked, that circle don't never get better. 
No. Yeah. No. And you know, There's so many comedians too. Like, like I said, I, it's just I just feel like I don't get mad about it. I just go, maybe it's not my turn right now. Maybe you know the door didn't open up for me right now. But you know, when Lord behold, when it do, uh, somebody's in trouble. Some, I, you know what? When it, you know what? I'm like kick the door. I'm like kick the door open. You know what? Boom. We were talking about booking shows. I just got booked last night. I was up in nice. Muskegon. Uh, my man Ricarlo. You know what I'm saying? Ricarlo, funny. Funny man, Ricardo, uh, booked me with uh, our RJN comedy. RJN comedy. Um, if, if y'all don't know, uh, y'all gotta get with RJN comedy. Um, talk to Ricardo through me, he's my Facebook friend. Tell him you know me, you know what I'm saying? You might have to send him a tape, you know what I'm saying? But yes, if you, sir. you know what I'm saying? But uh, he's a good guy, he'll book you and he'll pay you. He'll pay you what he say he gonna pay you. Okay, <laughs> it's not the ten dollars, it's not the twenty dollars that we be getting. You know what I'm saying? He'll pay you. you was this was where? This was up in Muskegon. This Muskegon? was where. Okay. This was where this RJN was... Comedy. My man Ricardo. I want to say Winston Williams. Uh, I don't know Ricardo. Because I jumped on the show um, in Grand Rapids. Uh, what was it? St. Patty's Day. Okay. Okay. It was uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the comedian David David Jones. I don't know Dave Jones. Oh man, he he booked me, man. It was cool, man. It was a two hour drive, man. I, I enjoyed it, man. It was uh was at the tattoo shop. I looked, it was like 10 people in a row, like you know, 10 people yeah. in two rows. I looked up again, it was packed. It oh, was that's what's elbow up. That's to elbow. What's up. And I'm like, wow, these people, you know, out in these cities make it a, a night to go out. Oh, yeah, you know, opposed to like in the city, like you guys because it's always something to do. In Detroit, but you know it's it's smaller in those those areas, so it's like okay, we got one common area, we got one place to hang. So you and, either you know, go bowling or go watch yeah, a comedian. Yeah. <laughs> and they came to laugh because sometimes you get you get that crowd that don't come to laugh. You know, just like then you know if his girl laughed too hard, he like. Yeah. Okay, so okay, okay, that? okay, okay. <laughs> so you feel like there's some sometimes you get a crowd that didn't come to laugh. So what they coming for? I feel like they came to laugh. It's just that um or maybe they wasn't easy. Like you had to, you know, say you had to work for your little, you know, say work for your funny. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, that leads me to this thing. It was a comedian. Um, it seems like um this is one of the comedians I I actually respect. I like him. Um, I didn't agree with this point of view. Um, he was like, hey, after COVID, it seemed like audiences weren't ready for comedy. It seemed like, you know, they weren't ready for the jokes uh, or, you know, I mean, basically an extension of kind of what you said. They weren't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always feel like if the audience didn't laugh, then I wasn't funny. You know what I mean? I can agree with that. I can agree. It depends on how many people are in the audience. Still. If somebody didn't <laughs> laugh, then I wasn't funny. It's not the audience's fault. That they didn't laugh. I would never say it's the, like <laughs> like look. If a woman has sex with me and she didn't come, then that's my fault because you know. So that's kind of like my job when that is happening. You know what I'm saying? She can make herself come herself with the. the I seen the attachments in the top drawer. Wait a okay. minute, women women come, yeah, they, <laughs> bro, 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 and it's not like that. <laughs> It be some whole oh, shit. Like it be some different wow. soul shit. It like it it listen, it, it be different. They come just like us. You know what I'm saying? You know how we be oh, shit. Oh. Man, their eyes roll back in the head and then told oh, they do some crazy and, retard and, shit. And what do they come out of? Uh -huh, the same thing that we come into. Okay, okay, because I the reason why I'm saying that, you know, I, I was with this young lady. And one they be time. having organisms. I, and I was, you know, I was, I guess, tuning into Tokyo, right? Like, uh huh, uh huh. And I didn't, I didn't know, you know, I didn't know cum was brown. Wait a minute, <laughs> wait, wait, a, wait, no. Yeah, that's the wrong spot. Yeah, oh, that's the you, duh, you was duh, it was going down. No, the pussy pink, the booty hole brown. Both I was like, what is no. like, this? Like, like, sewage water? She's like, oh, no. Too much fiber. Tequila. Much fiber. No, then with the tequila shits. And that's what that was. That was, that, that was, see, what that was, that was the tequila brown rise. Okay. What that is, is what happens. Okay. A tequila brown rise, if you don't know what that is, a tequila brown rise, what happens at the night, oh, the night earlier, you have a bunch of tequila sunrises. Yes, sir. And then when you try to, uh, when you try to uh, have that morning sex afterwards, and then you try to go back to the ass. You get the tequila brown rise because you got the morning shits afterwards and you didn't know that. 
Go ahead. You, you, uh, that's in the Urban Dictionary. You know what I'm saying? Is that is not a, that, and, is and believe it or not, that is not a Jason Vest original. He didn't make that up. That, that, that's this all I'm right last there. Friday. Oh, that, Jason, it was actually last night. It was actually last <laughs> night. Jason a, Vest is a freak. Jason <laughs> Vest, Jason Vest is a fucking, uh, he, he, he is a treasure. He's a national treasure. Let me tell you, me and and him, he needs to be protected. Me and him got, uh, <laughs> I don't know if we was a victim of parallel thinking, but we both got a y'all like y'all like buttholes. Yeah, we both had a joke about licking uh, hemorrhoids, right? And I think both <laughs> of our punchlines go. Blah, 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 but he said something about a fluffy butt pillow. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and 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 I said I thought it was a butt clip. A butt clip. Yeah, that's what I thought. I never knew what a hemorrhoid. Oh, was. a butt clip. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, and you was up there like <laughs> to the booty click, uh, not the booty. Yeah. Click. So I don't. Yeah, I don't uh, know. If, yeah, I think we was uh, like okay. stuck in parallel thinking because you know he's elsewhere and I'm elsewhere. Well, y'all was y'all yeah. was y'all like it's only so many uh, booty jokes that you can tell if you're around uh, if you're around the brown eyes. Is you know so you can't tell blue eye jokes. Okay, no, you can't. <laughs> you know what I'm no, not you can't tell blue. You can't tell blue eye jokes around a brown eye. Like you just can't. No, but like no. I like like but the shit. But wait 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 a minute. I'm still perplexed about. The brown sewage water, like she squirted though. Yeah, but I didn't know it was diarrhea at the time. And what you think it was, sir? I mean, I was 18. I'm like, oh yeah, you didn't she know. nasty. I, well, did I you had... eat her on the period and think it was Kool-Aid? No. <laughs> oh, jelly, jelly you... donut. But no. A jelly donut. Nigga, that was a clot. <laughs> that was a clot. I'm like, oh, like it tastes sir, that was a motherfucking clot. You know, and it was crazy. I had just lost my virginity right after I got my high school diploma. So I didn't know much. You didn't know shit. Yeah. Uh, you didn't know shit. You didn't know what shit uh, tastes like. You found yeah. out shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucked and, around and found out. And my, oh, my God. My first time was terrible, too. We want to talk about your first time, sir? Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, fuck it. This is this is sex right talk, now. okay? Fuck it. So, fuck so, it. so my first time, I was eighteen, and um, it was behind Subway. Um, huh? <laughs> you know, you know how you. So you was giving them slits. <laughs> you the so you, so you was slaying them six inches behind the Subway, huh? You know what I'm saying? Okay, Jared, you nasty ass. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, and and I knew this was a bad idea of how it was supposed to start because no. The, the conversation leading into the sex shouldn't start off with, do you have spare change? Do you yeah, have spare change? That wasn't a girlfriend. Yeah, that, yeah, and I'm like, you know, it was, you know, it, needless to say, I don't know. She I've was, had some dates start that way, so I can't judge. Yeah, you know, she's, a, she's a quite peculiar woman. Um, I don't know if she was on crack. I'm not saying this. I mean, well, who talking? <laughs> Oh, who talking, sir? You say you're not saying this. Well, who talking? Hold on, hold on. Let's see, Mel. Let's see who's saying this. Don't say nothing. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm saying that was you saying this. Oh, so go ahead, yeah, continue yeah. with the shit you wasn't saying. Yeah, you know, and you fucked the crackhead behind Subway. Yeah. Everybody went through that. Era. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Chris, did you have a crackhead? Uh, did you have a su behind crackhead? I was fucking not him. Well, those are not. Words I don't know. Did did you fuck crackheads behind Subway? Did you have an era where you were doing that? No, I didn't think so. Mel, were so you? I'm too? assuming y'all didn't I mean, drink for a loco. Around 29, but I, I, I did drink for a loco. Slips and threw the rest away. You did um, what? Like I had a four loco. Oh, you went about three. that life. I had five sips and threw the rest away. Oh. Listen, 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 listen. Four loco was not made for the Negro, uh, for the Negroidios. The shit was not made for black it wasn't folks. Made for anybody. No, no, it was made. It was made. It was made for 18, 19 year old, 24 year old white women that's in college. So that's what that for was crack. made for. I, I drunk those. I drunk three of them and I was twelve loco, right? Nigga, so, you was dead. <laughs> that's what happened. You was dead and so came when, back. So it's basically you need a rape drug on the cheap, <laughs> dude. That's that's what it is, because I didn't know who I was fucking. Oh, uh, yeah, for a lot, man, for, man, for, I mean, dude, for a loco, it's crazy because it's dude, it shouldn't taste like it shouldn't taste like a motherfucking Tahitian treat and and absolute and motherfucking Red Bull and Kool Aid and and fucking strawberry vanilla. It, it, it shouldn't taste so good. It shouldn't. And then after you finish the can, oh, it it's just like so, good after like five sips, and it, that was it. And then uh, like something take over, you just yeah, uh, yeah, it turned you into a white boy for a minute. Yeah, then you did like, it. 
Hey, hey yeah. she's like, you got your spare change. Let's me and you behind the dumpster now. You sound like a wrestler. You sound like a wrestler. You 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 sound like when Macho Man Randy Savage got mad at Hulk Hogan because he put Miss Elizabeth in danger. He was like, ooh, ooh, me and you, me and you behind subways at two o'clock. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 a snap into your pussy. Oh, that's what yeah, you said. You, so you fucking crackheads I, behind. The, I, don't, I, I, I guess I guess I, I was the only one. On purpose. I guess I was the only one in that era. I mean, I You're guess like, I no. was the only one who went through that era. Cause like uh, fucking crackheads on purpose. Man, yeah. yeah. And yeah. and here, yeah. I mean, I stayed protected. It so. ain't no protection from the crack, dude. But I I had did it. I had did it. To what protect you for the crack breath? Oh no! I, you said to this one, so there. Okay, multiple. there's it, multiple. It was multiple. Like yeah. I didn't. It really one. was an era. It was a it was a church. Okay. <laughs> it was a church up the street on Grand River, um, Tabernacle, and, uh, and Grand River and um, and Hubble. Are you are you telling people where the crackhead horse is? Is this what this is? No, no. I mean, well, <laughs> they were, you know, what I'm saying? this was years ago. They probably Where's gone pen? now. Some of them probably dead. Okay, but yeah, like doing it to somebody in a burnt down, broke, demolished church is you mm. know what I'm saying. Why your grandma was alive was terrible. Wait. Yeah, you have to wait. Till uh, she passes. You gotta wait till she passes to get some pussy in an abandoned church. I mean, I shouldn't have been doing I this. Don't know. I was raised a lot better than this. Was you really? Was you really? Because every time I did some dumb shit, my mama used to say, bro, I didn't raise you like this. I said, well, who raised me? Because this is where I am. Hey, this is what be, I did. Hey, you can be a good parent and still have shit kids. Uh, <laughs> no, you can't. Yes, you no, can. you can't. No, Probably no, can. no, you can't because you listen. No, because fat parents have fat kids. So shit kids come from shit parents. You don't, that's the way the math. That's, that's the way the math true. works. You want to know what my mom's philosophy was? What? My mom always told me, don't tell me anything I don't want to know. Oh. Yeah, like, I, yeah, yeah, don't, yeah. I, like, don't, I, yeah, yeah. I haven't decided to sit yeah. down at the Thanksgiving, you know, at Thanksgiving yeah. at my mother's house. Like, hey, mom, look. So from the ages of 18 to about 22. I was in this era where I was doing it to these, you know, ladies of the night, you know, sometimes uh -huh. ladies of the afternoon. And uh -huh. I've been doing it in vacant houses, uh -huh. you know, where the floor could have came uh -huh. in and I could have been stuck in a flooded doo doo basement with this girl. But no, uh. I finished in time. So, but who was the prostitute, though? I'm just wondering. Did you know her name? Was her name Peaches? <laughs> Um, what was they? No, names? I mean you or the girl. Oh shit! Was was you the hoe? Was they the hoe? <laughs> they was the hoe. Oh okay, okay. I, all I, you know, I didn't know their name. All I had to do was go, <sighs> and they turn around. They be so you was just street. okay. So uh, so a nigga, you knew the you knew the crack car. Don't nobody know what corner the whistle. Niggas whistle all the time. Crackheads don't just pop up. You knew the block to go on where the crackheads came out the bushes. The thing said, <sighs> I was like. <laughs> okay, about the bushes. Well, listen. Here. Well, listen. You said you didn't know how to tell your mom. Well, guess what? We have a special guest. Come on in. <laughs> nah, that'd be funny. Like, oh shit, mama. Yeah. No. Nah, nah. But guess nah. Your mama knew you was up. Yeah, your mama knew because she probably knew I was up to no good. Yeah, like. yeah. Your mama had to know because you're sick. Because like once she start, because once she stopped doing your laundry and it ain't no dry hard towels and socks and stuff, she know you releasing she somewhere. Like, oh, he fucking. Yeah, you know, she know you ain't had no job and you, you still had an allowance. So what could you get? There's always a chance she did worse. She did ah oh, nigga. <laughs> that's what I nigga. that's what I was thinking. Dog, aren't aren't you glad that your mama didn't have an Instagram? Like, like what do you want? Or OnlyFans? Like, well, you tell her about your crack head escapades. She talks about, oh, that's fine. I always had a blow job with my morning coffee back in college. Oh, like, oh, oh man. What, man, what if you were like mama, mama, you know, I I, I smoke crack. She said, that's how I met your daddy. Oh man. <laughs> Like that is how I met your daddy. Yo, well, I, I can believe that. Cause oh man, my, my dad, he's a trip. Your dad, she's a trip. Well, you know, you know what I'm saying? For the people that don't know, my name is Ron Kelly. It's Ron Kelly show where we got special guest comedian Cliff DeMarco talking about how he met his daddy one time. Okay, tell us <laughs> no, about let me wait, tell you. <laughs> no, this no, nah, this nigga grew up. No, nah, this nigga raised us. This thing I grew up in a house with this nigga, man. Uh who we my father's an alcoholic. No, uh, like. And he like one of them terrible alcoholics. Like you know, go to AA, try to outsmart the instructor. Uh huh. It's like, uh, Mr. Lewis, I know you ain't drinking. Hey, I'm coming to AA. I thought this was anal annually. Anal and like, what? no, this is Alcoholics Anonymous. Well, if this Alcoholics Anonymous, how the fuck you know my name? <laughs> and true, now what? True story. Like how the fuck you know my name? Exactly. Uh, you have to say it where you go. See, that's what I'm saying. Like that's a whole lie. Yeah. 
That's a setup. No, the concept is like your alcoholic stories stay within that meeting. Uh, right? No, nah, they, man, my mama told me it ain't no such thing as a fucking secret. You know what I'm saying? Let me hear some. Listen, I had to go to NA for like some probation, you know what I'm saying, back before weed was legal. You know what I'm saying? So I was in there and I heard some juicy ass stories. Like motherfucker was like, yeah, I was sucking dick for the back for, you know what I'm saying, for crack. And I was like, oh shit. The first thing, <laughs> the first thing I did was go home and tell somebody. That's not an anonymous. I was like, Steve used to suck dick. Like yeah. Steve there. Yeah, that new that dude right there, that dude right there. Nah, black people always say, I'm not gonna tell nobody, but then let me see you walk by and you the person I wasn't gonna tell. I'm like, shh, 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 shh. Nigga, nigga. That nigga Steve is a for crack. No, white women do that too. What y'all do? <laughs> yeah, but y'all do that huh. without the meetings. Well, I, I, I gotta get my red book because this is new for this <laughs> what, new. what I what I don't get about AA is what, what perplexes me a little about AA like <laughs> Uh, essentially, you telling me there's nobody who's going to be riding in the car with you after this meeting. Whatever you do, avoid the liquor store. That's what you're telling me, essentially. Avoid the liquor store. Don't go to the liquor store. you like, you know, you know how you got the alcoholic itch? Because I've seen my father have it like, oh, shit, what up, Shayla? You see, oh, okay. nigga, that was heroin. That was not alcohol. <laughs> that was heroin, man. Oh, man. You said, you said, I seen yeah. my daddy had an alcoholic itch. That's that not is alcohol. not alcohol. He was on I, stuff. You know, yeah. Don't think of AA as a help program. Think of it as like scared straight. Scared. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know was... for somebody out there, you're going to hear a story so bad that's worse than anything than what yeah. you did where you go, Okay, I need to stop drink, drinking before yeah. I get to that. I'm about to tell you a story like, like, right. Uh, I'm oh. about to tell you a story right now. I'm about to tell all y'all men a story right now that'll make you stop snooping. Okay, you'll never look in the top drawer ever in your mama house, in your auntie house, your sister house, nobody house, your woman house. You never looking again. Brother, you know why? This one time I was a child. I was a young child. I was a young nosy child, 12, 13 years old. I looked at my mama top drawer and I found a double sided dildo. Why do you got that, mama? Why? Yeah, you know why. Hey, no, no, I didn't know why. I was young at the time, and I didn't know. Double, double shut sided, up, though. shut up! Don't say nothing. Now so, you can picture it. So yes, <laughs> not. Yeah, yes, it's disgusting. So either mom was. The, uh, sure. Nope, nope. Let's not talk about it. Mom was either sure. Ah, God damn it! Slam, God, dad was a clam slam, or listen, listen. There, there's a, there's a comedian in in the community. I'm not gonna blast him, but he'll say this in his set. Whose whose mother was a pegger and his stepfather was a peggy. And you know he can't listen to Barry White the same way no more. Oh my yeah, cause, god! Yeah, because yeah, because like you know, I'm yeah, because like, I'm actually trying a new term for it. it. I think about calling it's it pegging it, time. No, like either call it a clam slam or call it pedal smooching. Pedal, <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> pedal smooching clams. Like you know what? Let's that sounds adorable. Speaking of new smooching. names, speaking of new names, can we? Isn't shouldn't a camel toe really be called a put uh, a fucking pussy foot? Yes, Not it, really. it kind of. Mm, it should it should it should be called a pussy foot. That's what it is, a pussy foot. Mm. That looks like a deer hoof or something. Uh, you know what? Fat women got moose knuckles. Have you ever seen that? They yeah. they be having moose knuckles. They should not be wearing pants. Oh man, man, I don't know, man. A fat pussy look like a catcher's mitt. Ooh, we. Oh, a big vagina, boy. That's, big vagina. That's a V eight. Listen, you know what's you know what's real. You know what's real deceptive about big vaginas. It got long lines, but the hole's still little. Oh you know man, like like how I, long is a line? The long like okay. I just I just get. <laughs> I just gave away, like, I had sex with a large woman this time. She was like, okay. I'm married to you. Okay. Yeah, no, but the, it's not ill because she's clean. So it's, just, it's just a lot of, it's, listen, you know, little men like big women, big women like little men. I don't know why y'all like us, but I know why I like y'all because yeah, y'all is, be is warm. Yeah, and but that, can it be hard to figure out if you're getting your dick in the right crevice? Uh-uh, because pussy feel like pussy, baby. <laughs> pussy feel like pussy. But you know what, man? I'm into this thing where, you know, I put a little, you know, like Vaseline in like the creases of her knee. Oh, you done creased her. And, and, and I like you to hit, hit that or hit the elbow. Listen, friction, listen, friction, listen, sometimes, listen, sometimes if a woman got them wings, you know what I'm saying? I tell her, put her arms down, and then, you know what I'm saying? I'm a tourist, so I, I fucking give her that real bull. You know what I'm saying? I just put it right between the, I just I put that shit right between the meat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, but like. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Whatever, listen. Jesus fucking Christ. Listen, listen. Okay, <laughs> fuck it. I'm not going to fetish shame. So is anybody lying? Listen, if you like, then you like pee. Okay, so ain't nothing different. Ain't nothing different. Sometimes Ooh. you want to get it. It's just, listen, listen, it's the same thing. Listen, I'm about, I'm about to tell you. I'm about, are you a squirtish pee guy? Because I'm 